another builder enters liquidation. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee because another builder, this time here in Queensland, has entered liquidation. The construction apocalypse is continuing. Let's have a look at this article and a few other things. So Brisbane building company Lansky Constructions, Queensland, goes into liquidation. A Queensland builders with offices across Australia and overseas has become the latest casualty in the struggling construction sector. Let's jump over to the other screen and we can have a look. I mean, there you go. Look at that. Maccas right there. So they do some petrol stations. What's this one? Essendon Airport, Victoria. So they do some decent size and, well, complexity of projects, guys. You know that I don't mind that at all. I like the aesthetic as an architect for a you know a warehouse. So we're not talking just a small builder here, you know. And uh, this seems to be a story that we're repeating again and again every week or every other week at the moment. If we jump back here before we go through the article, we can have a look at some of their Google reviews. There's only four up, and two that that I think uh, well are interesting to consider. Failed to pay due invoices on time. Had to be chased by debt collectors and even then are refusing to pay the cost associated. This was two years ago. Another one. uh, Had to chase to be paid and they don't return calls hopeless. So this is probably frustrated subbies working for the builder. Now remember, this is only the problem with this social media. It's only one side of the story. They haven't done any responses. But... Word gets around, word gets around. And if any builder tells you it's paid when paid, you've got to realize that's illegal, guys. You can't do that anymore. And that's just, I was bitching and moaning to a lawyer about just the construction industry and how payments can take so long sometimes. And it's, it's, he's just laughing at me going, yeah, that's the game. I don't know why you guys put up with it. (laughs) That's kind of the culture that it is, isn't it? And here you've got two people that have given it five-star reviews five years ago and three years ago. So, yeah, some pissed-off subbies have let them know that they're not happy. But that was a few years ago. That's before any of, well, maybe two years ago. isn't that long ago now, actually. So, on Monday, Brisbane-based Lansky Constructions for Queensland Proprietary Limited went into liquidation. The firm had headquarters in Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Perth, and even Auckland. Can you count New Zealand as really being overseas? <laughs> Come on. It's, it's virtually another state of Australia. It should be. We want to bring the Kiwis into the Federation because it will up our economic complexity. Can we, why isn't that the push for that in the budget? Anyway. Only the Queensland branch has been, impa- been impacted by the company's collapse while the others are still operating as per normal. So just here in Queensland, that has to, is, is that a worse thing or a better thing, guys? You know, Ben Campbell and John Park of FTI Consulting were appointed to wind up the company. As liquidators were only appointed 24 hours ago, they were not able to comment on the amount the company owed, how many creditors there were, or how many projects had been placed in jeopardy. They could confirm, however, there were currently no staff employed in the now defunct company. Okay, so it looks like looks like Queensland. And do we know where these reviews are from? We don't. We don't know where they're from. So it could be anywhere. It could be a subby anywhere in the country that's pissed off. So and <clears throat> and if I mean, here's the thing: I worked for an architectural practice that had their headquarters down in Tasmania, and one of the partners moved up to Queensland, set up an office here, and then he passed on. Someone had to come in and take over the firm and manage all the projects. It was a bit messy. So, I mean, could that be a similar thing here? Or maybe it just didn't didn't kick on in Queensland. An FTI consulting spokesperson told news.com.au, the appointment does not impact other entities in the Lansky Constructions Group. The liquidators will seek to manage the affairs of the company in a manner which maximizes the outcome for its creditors. There are currently no staff directly employed by the company. So that's that's the good thing. There are no staff employed. But the problem is it's going to be subbies. 
that cop it, guys. 2014, did they do Roma Airport Royal Flying Doctors Services Base? Hmm. So, creditors of Lansky Constructions, Queensland, PTY, LTD will be updated in due course. They were founded in 86 by Paul Lansky and also another man called Ross Williams. The company claims it has a 200 million turnover across all its offices. Projects range from $100,000 to costing more than $100 million for their clients, according to their website. Yeah, so they're, they're a decent-sized player. However, according to the most recent filing with ASIC, the whole Lansky Constructions company made a loss of 218000 with revenue of $139.7 million in the year up until June 21. That's, well, considering what's happened in the last few years, how for many it's been a profitless boom, that's not... Not that bad, to be honest. Only losing two hundred grand, but on a revenue of one hundred and forty million, uh, this is the construction. It's either boom or bust, isn't it? The company works on commercial builds such as retail fitouts and also schools, service stations, warehouses, and food processing plants. Some of the firm's clients include Woolworths, Coal, Starbucks, and Maya. Projects for the Queensland division have ranged all over the state, including in Southport and Cairns. News.com has contacted Mr. Lansky and Lansky Constructions for comment, but they did not immediately respond. So, a spate of construction companies have collapsed this year with more than a dozen. Yes, and this is, well, this is the regular bit they add onto these articles every time, and they just keep adding more businesses onto the roster that we have here of businesses that are going under. Because of the, oh, because of the construction apocalypse, everyone. So let's, well, let's have a bit of a talk about this. So the good thing is there are no employees directly employed by them, probably all contractors. Let's hope the contractors and the subbies who work for them here in Queensland get paid. Let's hope it gets sorted, they liquidate it. Let's hope they've done the right thing. But this is the challenge of doing business in the construction game, guys. And uh, it's going to be interesting moving forward, particularly with the push for significant numbers of housing. What do you reckon? As always, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this one. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Check out my other channels, Heiser Bim and Heiser Says International, for other topics that I discuss. And if you're a fan of the channel, there are a few ways you can support us financially on YouTube or Patreon, using our referral links, buying our pocket squares, or calling us if you need an architect. Take care, everyone. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode of Heiser Says.